hello hello family how is everyone doing today i miss you guys so so very much i hope you all had a wonderful wonderful thanksgiving um i sure did i had a blast with my family i saw family members that i haven't seen in a long oh gosh a long time so yeah i had a real real good time you guys we had good family good friends good food good conversation good good drinks get everything i must admit i had a cup of beer i had about three sips of it i don't know it just wasn't quite i think my adrenaline was more so for my family just enjoying my my time with my family so um i think i was i was already lit just on that just on love but anyway you guys i got some panera bread and i thought i would come on here and share with you guys i am also having my favorite stella rosa i hope you guys can see i did the best i can with having my son help me set up so i have a glass of wine and i have a you know what you guys sloppy eating looks like turkey mm-hmm looks like a turkey sandwich just some bread and I have some uh, cheese broccoli soup and some chicken alfredo and so anyway um oh my hair has been itching up a storm um what was i gonna say yeah let me put this chicken alfredo on here Let me have a taste. Mm hmm. I hope my head is not cut off. Hmm. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, guys. I see some uh, bacon on here. Y'all see the struggle is real with my hands, right? Very sloppy. For those of you who don't know, I have ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, so my hands do not open. Please bear with me. This is going to be messy. This is the little withered piece of bacon here. Sorry, guys. 
I'm glad you think you're doing well. I'm glad your weekend after thank you more well, I hope so. Um I have a little short story time. Now when I say short it's short because it's really straight to the point, it's not really a long drawn out thing. I got busted. So embarrassing. I thought I would never ever expose myself to this story. But I'm gonna do it for y'all. Mm-hmm. Let me do it for y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a mic, y'all. I hope it's plugged in all the way. Otherwise, this is going to be terrible. I hope you guys can hear me pretty good if it is working. Also, I got some, I uh, forgot to show you some, uh, Kettle chips. I've never tried this. Yeah, just kettle cooked potato chips. My son and I's order came up to 33.88, and I think he got the Alfredo, the chicken Alfredo and the sandwich. I think that's all he got. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty good. A little on the expensive side, but yeah. Okay. Let me try this wine, y'all. I know it's good. It's my favorite. my new spoon silverware I got from uh, when I was in Hawaii. Let's try this cheese broccoli soup. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I think I no matter where I go so far Subway, anywhere I go the cheese broccoli is so good. Mm. I'm sorry if this fan is loud, but y'all need it. Mm. Dip that bread in there. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm so hungry. Because yesterday, I didn't eat anything all day until like about 8 o'clock. Oh, I made me, well, my husband made me a, um, a, a turkey wrap. I hope it's all right. It had turkey, cheese, red onions, um, avocado, um, salt and pepper, and ranch dressing. Oh my goodness, you guys, it was so, so delicious. So fruit. <laughs> so light and refreshing. Mm-hmm. So I'm hungry. Mmm. The chicken is seasoned so well. And it's very tender. The soup, though. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I was about eleven, eleven or twelve. I was living with my aunt at the time, my dad's sister. My dad raised me from the time I believe I was five on up. I still went to visit my mom and everything, but my mom was 15 when she had me, so she was, you know, still young. She wanted to still hang out with her friends and party, a date, I guess, you know, because obviously her and my dad had broken up. Well, on the other hand, my dad was much older, I won't say, but he was already well established and, and, and working for the post office there. Yeah, she retired as supervisor and manager at the post office. So that's the only job I ever known him to have. Mm. Damn, I keep biting my lip. So,
I'm going to sign with God. Y'all, we already in 15 minutes. I ain't did. Ain't nothing sad, nothing. Mm. I'm glad it's short. I can always eat my food. Right? Eating food, I'm so used to doing it because that's what my channel was based off when I started. So I just feel more comfortable with sharing my mail and talking with you guys. I will be doing <clears throat> videos where I'm just sitting here talking to you guys about my ALS. It's going to be in three sessions. It's going to be how I really feel about my ALS diagnosis. There's going to be three parts. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, I bet that bad boy hard. So, there's going to be three parts. There's going to be mentally how I feel, how I felt and how I feel about my ALS diagnosis. So, there'll be a, a mentally, a physically, and emotionally. All three of those will be share with you guys. Um, I'm trying to do all three of them in one video. It's just going to be too long. Anyway, just thought I would mention that to you guys. Now, back to the story. So, I was 11 years old. I was standing in my aunt's house. And my aunt has two kids and they were like anywhere from five to seven eight years older i had a cousin named michael um and a cousin named miko my cousin miko was very very strict on me she was like a mother yeah my aunt was very very sweet she worked really hard and she was working on her master's degree. Um, she's an RN, so she was working on her master's. I don't know if it was her bachelor's at the time, but she has a master's. Anyway, so she retired maybe three, four years ago um, as an RN for the uh, sheriff's department. Yeah. So, one night, you guys, I got very, very bored. Very, very bored. And you know how those commercials come on with those ladies. Yeah. When I told my daughter I was going to tell this story, I thought she was going to say, Mom, please don't embarrass us. <laughs> But she actually said, Mom, that'd be a good one. You got to tell that story. But when I was telling her, because she never knew about it, I was laughing uncontrollably. It was terrible. I, I literally couldn't stop. Um, my whole body was aching because I was using all of my muscles while laughing. So I'm going to try not to do that. Girl, would you get to the story? Okay. So, let me have one chip. So, you know those commercials with the uh, ladies come on there? You know them 800 numbers. You know, where you can come on and talk, you know, dirty or whatever with these women, right? Mm. So <laughs> Miss to make it the uh, it real bright. I did a call. But the killer part is 
I wasn't Tamika when I called. I was my cousin Michael. <laughs> so, I called. I was so nervous. I knew for what. I'm only 11, 12 years old. I shouldn't be calling you for two. When my dad found out, I was going to get the worst punishment ever because he didn't. I think my dad maybe spanked me with a belt once and hit me with his hand on my bottom. Maybe twice. But punch because I bruised real easy. But the punishments were. Two, three months at a time, y'all. I'm not exaggerating, so I was very afraid when I got in trouble. Anyway, so I called the number. It was about midnight. My cousins were out, because they were older. My uh, cousin Michael was probably out with a girl or friends or a game or something. My aunt was at work. I'm upstairs in her room. I built up the courage to pick the phone up. And I'm dialing the numbers very, very slowly. So the lady on the phone. I can't remember exactly what she said, but it was something like, Hi, how can we make your night more pleasurable or something like that? She said, hi, this is, let's say, Candy. How can I make your night more pleasurable? And I'm like, you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. And she says, oh, okay. I think we can manage that or work something out or something like that. She said, so, do you mind if I ask you your name? And, of course, I'm sounding like a dude. Yeah, I'm not in my regular voice, so I'm like, Michael. She's like, oh, okay, Michael. Can you tell me some of your wildest fantasies? My response. Of course, but short and simple, I'm 11 years old. So I'm like, of course, you are. He's like, oh, Michael. I'm so glad. I was able to be one of your wildest fantasies. Let's talk more specifically about what those are. But she's talking real seductive and sexy, you know. And like a sound of a sec <laughs> it's embarrassing. I said I wanna <clears throat> I wanna have sex with you. Now, you guys, believe it or not, when I was 11, for some reason, I could really make myself sound like a god. Now I can't plus my voice is all screwed up from hell. It's all sound terrible. And we, we just carried on and carried on find, at least for another two or three more questions, and I got uncomfortable, so I said, all right, nice talking to you. I'll call you tomorrow. So, oh, okay, Michael, I really enjoyed you. Make sure you give me a call back. We are, we're going to have a lot to catch up on or something else. Y'all get hot. So, next day, I call back. I called on Friday, and I'm thinking, because when I would call, I did it for a whole month. And uh, every time I would call, it would be on the weekend. I knew my aunt would be at work, and I knew my cousins would be out. Yo, ooh, it's 25 minutes. My whole point is, 
when my aunt got the bill, mind you, these eight hundred numbers, they was charging you every minute, like ninety nine cent every minute. I think the bill was I know it was over a hundred dollars. So my aunt got the bill. I might say that was my cousin Michael. I call him Mikey, I always have. So I'm not, she, and he denied it, he denied it, and she just swore me down with him. She knew it couldn't be me, and she knew it wasn't her daughter. Next thing I know, my dad showed up. Like, the next day. And she brought all of us to the dinner table and she had that bill and by this point she knew it had to be me so she told my dad and my dad must have looked at me in such a way as if I was like a pedophile or a rapist or a, like he couldn't understand for the life of him what the hell made me Decide. What the hell made me decide to even do something like this? He was like, Tamika, what the hell were you thinking? What were you saying? Where did you get what? Where did you get that idea from? Like he had all kinds of questions. Like, is something wrong with you? What? Why would you even think to do that? You no. Know, I don't know. I don't know what made me do it. I was bored in them commercials and so on. I thought, what the hell, might as well. Did it for a month straight. And, they, and I'm wondering to this day if they even knew. I think they did. But you think they're going to turn down that money? Hell no. You think they're going to be like, oh, you're a kid. We're not talking to you anymore. Don't call back. Mm -mm. Nope. They was probably getting the kick out of me just as much as I was getting the kick out of them. Yeah. I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm so glad I told my daughter first because I wouldn't have been able to tell you guys about laughing hysterically. This right here, oh yeah. Mm. Y'all don't judge me. I don't, <clears throat> what was y'all doing? Y'all just ain't telling what y'all did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mmm. Yo. If y'all would have saw my dad's face. Mmm. I felt so bad. It was like, I was like this, and I just shriveled up. It was a little bitty ant, that's how small I felt. And my dad do not play with his money. So, he was really pissed. I was on punishment for at least three months straight. 
No phone calls. I can't go to sleepovers. I can do that. I don't even think he let me go to my mom's house because all of my cousins were over there. He knew I would have a lot of fun. Mm. Michael was getting his back on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Michael was getting his Mac on. Oh. Mm. So what? I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. This video is 30 minutes, 31 minutes long. Yeah. I got this handy dandy little remote because I got me a ring light. And this remote comes with it so I can stop and start the video or um, take pictures. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, when I hit this button, it's bye bye. So, I love you all so very much. And be safe out there. I want to give a shout out to Shirley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you so, so very much. She has been watching my videos. Most of them she's watched, but she just went back and re-watched every single video just to make sure so I get those watch time in. That's awesome. That is very, very sweet of her, Shirley. I thank you so very much. I love you. I love all of you. And I will see you on the next video, you guys. Hi. Mm.